Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's really been a while since I made a video. I had some family matters to attend to. I had a lot of uh, work to do. And also I was in the process of getting an office away from home. All this while I've been working out from home. And of course, you know the challenges uh, working out from home. You have to deal with a lot of uh, things. You have to wait for the right time and all that. But now I have separated that work environment that is gonna help me be more productive. So be expecting to see me more frequently from now on now this video is very important because this video is going to address a lot of things first of all i have two new components that i've released a couple of you in the facebook group have seen this before when i teased it a couple of months back and i said it's going to be released soon but i couldn't release it because i needed to iron out a few kings and i just wanted to make it good enough before release that's why i didn't release that so it's available for bricks and oxygen builder i'm gonna demo that and then the next one is a fancy sticky heater for bricks builder and this is also gonna come uh, for oxygen and possibly breakdance uh, this also possibly will come for breakdance but for now it's available for bricks and oxygen so uh, let's take a look at the fancy sticky header first now if you go to the page you're going to see demo and if you click it it's going to open a demo page to show you what this is all about it's just a sticky header but it's just a fancy one uh why would you need this some people just want something fancy you know uh, it's just for the visual effect instead of having the regular uh header uh, but these doubles has a kind of a pseudo headroom okay like where you have enough headroom when you scroll but then you don't lose your navigation altogether so you still have your top bar and then you can click here to have your navigation drop down or click to go back or if you scroll again of course it's going to hide then when you come all the way up uh it reveals everything so uh, it's just a cool way of making this visually appealing so um and i haven't forgotten about accessibility and usability so you may notice that if i click on this button this logo moves down here uh, it actually doesn't move there are two logos but i've taken into consideration the problem of duplicated content uh, when it comes to accessibility for example the the logo is usually a home button like right? it leads to the home button so uh, in the navigation i ensure that uh that is always the case even though we have two for example this leads to the home button uh sorry for example this leads to the home page this also leads to the home page but at one time one of them will be available for accessibility so if i if, for example if you if let's scroll all the way now if i tap here you can see that uh the, that face tab just leads me here because these are not linked but then if i come here you see that you know focuses on this and that and then you know it comes back here because the rest of the things are hidden so if i tap and enter now this will jump down here because these buttons are not linked so you can see that if i move back again it jumps straight away to the skip footer so it doesn't go back to the logo that is hidden so everything is so while it is hidden it is hidden away from screen readers and assistive technology and while this one is hidden uh, while this the main logo is hidden is also hidden away from screen reader so you don't have duplicated content on the page or uh, duplicated links and all that so I, uh, this that is taken care of uh, it is also uh, mobile responsive so uh, for example if you click here now it can open the the menu okay this is the default bricks menu um, that is the nestable menu so uh, so this up triggers the menu it doesn't just bring down the this header because it will be double click okay so it wouldn't make sense for it to work the way it does on the desktop for example on the desktop uh, when you have this it brings down this okay but on mobile when you click on it it just opens the menu because there's no need for it to bring down this separately now this supports the nestable uh, menu it also supports the wordpress menu so what whichever one you use i want to point out that this is not a menu component it is a header component so you are going to drop your, your menu here you're going to work on your menu to look the way you want you're going to customize your menu to look the way you want in the future i probably update this component uh with a well a dedicated uh customized um well styled menu but for now this component just does what it does and to set it up is very easy all you need to do is just to copy and paste so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to do that uh, so if you have an auth access membership this would have already been listed 
in your dashboard but if you if you want to purchase it uh, you could go ahead and purchase it and then you can download it and once you download it so i'm going to go ahead and download this uh that should download it right there i'm going to drag this onto the browser and then i'm going to copy the whole of this now i'm going to go into bricks i already have this here i'm going to delete that now this is a header template so you're going to set up your just create a header template in bricks once you open your header template you go to settings template settings header and then turn on the sticky header that is very important and then you're going to paste this here now everything should work so if i save this and i go to the front end and i refresh and you can see that it's working right out of the box now uh, one thing you have to note is for let me collapse this for your menu to work okay for it to trigger your nestable nav menu you have to uh, go to the open button and then you have to uh, just copy this first part the first part without the brxc dash okay copy that then go to the js and then replace it with this uh, button script id now before i save that i just want to demonstrate to you that uh, if you don't do that uh, this button is not going to trigger the menu okay so but now when i save this and when i save that it's going to refresh once it refreshes uh, you can see that that button will trigger the menu so you have to get the id of the toggle button this open toggle and then replace it here that's all and of course uh you can set your media query here so that's basically what you need to do for that to work so it's a very simple setup so all you need to do is just download it copy and paste but make sure that in your header template uh, when you go to the header uh, settings you turn on sticky header without turning on sticky header it's just going to be just like a regular header so it's not going to work now the second one i want to demonstrate is I'm still going to use Bricks Builder to demonstrate it. It's the infinite uh, scroll section. Okay, the infinite scrolling card section for Bricks Builder. Uh, it works the same way in Oxygen. It's copy and paste. Uh, so I'm going to also go to that component. So I have under Bricks Builder, infinite scrolling section. I'm going to download this. And once it downloads, infinite scrolling card section, I'm just going to copy that. And then now I'm going to do detailed instruction for each of the builders and put it in your dashboard but this is just a general video okay so i have a page here uh, infinite scrolling card section i just op i just created this page okay so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to paste that component there and of course i want to disable the header i don't want the header to interface so let me just go ahead page settings general i disable header so i don't want a header on that page and i'm going to preview it so you can see it's just copy and paste uh yeah so let's preview that and out of the box it works so let me um, just go responsive there and you can see that it works responsive but you notice that in the responsive mode we have just two whereas uh, here we have three so what happens is that when you paste this now I'm gonna move my video to the other side so you can um, see all right so I uh, so what happens is here let me collapse this so you can see the structure of this so we have uh, these content scroll wrapper so the scroll wrapper is where everything is you have the scroll div this is the first one the second one is reverse the third one now uh, let's start with why we have just two you know on mobile now the way you set this up is anyone you don't want to show on mobile you just go to the to the attribute and just put data hide on mobile okay that's all just add the attribute data hide on mobile and it's going to hide it on mobile and uh, for the reverse you just add the attribute data dwc reverse scroll so uh, the one that is reverse will reverse as you can see that one is in the opposite direction of the others and also you have data speed for example uh, let me go to this last one you know they're moving in the same direction but let me change the speed so i'm going to change the speed to let's just make it something really high as one uh, the default is 0 0.3 and then once you have it you can see that that one moves much faster if i wanted to go in the reverse direction what do i do so i'm just going to add the attribute and just gonna uh, let's just go and copy that attribute um so last one just drop it there that's all save and we're gonna have that she is going in the reverse direction all right so that is simple how to set it up then then how do you uh, put your content so you have the scroll content these are three images now you could replace these images with cards if you want to build cards and put them in, inside there or if i want to remove this you can still do two if you remove 
you you're still gonna have two two of this uh okay so you see you have two of this uh so you can actually replace this with actual cards uh let's say you want to turn this off and then insert a div there uh let's say you want to insert uh is that a block okay so you insert a block move it up so you can see that block and then i want to make it a minimum height of let's say 400 okay and then uh width is already 100 by default i'm gonna give it a background color just to see what it is so we have a block there background color yeah so if i if i refresh this you're going to see that that is so you can actually put a card you can des design stuff and put it in there if you also wanted to use uh, a query loop you could also do that and loop the content of course you want to limit it you know you don't want to have uh, a lot of content here uh, because of the way this is designed but then again on a second thought think about the infinite scroll section actually this was inspired by kajabi.com and it is intended to be used as this for example you really don't want to use it with cards okay because you don't want moving targets you get what i mean uh people to you know it's it's meant to it's meant for display purposes only so i wouldn't i wouldn't advise you to put an actual an actual interactive card component i mean card components that you want users to click and take action okay so i wouldn't recommend that so this is the component and it is it is intended to be used like this so what if you want to change the background color so you could go here uh let's see you go to the this card section so if you want to change the background color let's say we wanted this to be red you can see that it changes that off that blurry you know stuff up and down i don't know what to call it <laughs> all right <clears throat> so if you look at this of course you can see it changes it also so this is where you control your your background color so here i want it to be white and uh that's basically all you need to do and your your card the gaps if you don't want it to have gaps you can see you can make it hidden i mean zero make it 20 50 so uh that is actually where you change everything you know i'm gonna do like i said i'm gonna do a video uh specifically for this component an instruction video for this both this and the and the the header here you know this fancy header so those are the two new components uh that are available so if you have active membership you could go there and you will see them listed there and also i want to talk about the other components first we have uh, the video playlist component it's going to be first available for oxygen then bricks and then breakdown so uh we have this now it is a component that i use on my website uh, designwithcracker.com i'm going to open that but it's this is uh this what i've done here is that it's, it's much more rich it's richer it has more features uh, it's just a simple thing that i did here where you have a list of not just videos but playlists you can also do videos if you want uh when that comes out i'm going to show you how it works so we have this like that uh, then you could also make it to show uh to be like this you know just the th just these buttons uh the settings are there i'm not going to go into that you could you know this could come under here and they're like buttons okay uh you could you, you can see here that this is a playlist okay so you could uh in queue playlist you could also in queue uh uh this 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 is um a local video this video is on on the server on the website okay on the wordpress server so you could do both youtube single video you could do uh, a playlist you could also do a local video so i'm still brushing this up this is going to be released very soon and there's, there are a couple of other components that i'm working on and they will soon be available so for those of you that subscribe for the yearly membership I want to apologize for the delays in bringing out new components like i said from now forward you're going to get more frequent releases because i've set up my office and my workspace so there'll be no more delays so if you want to check out these components i'm going to put a link in the description below so check it out uh and then let me know what you think for some of you that already have subscription try it out request for features if there's any bugs report it but i've tested it and the way it is it seems that everything is on point so you may ask what about the tutorials of course tutorials are still coming free tutorials are still coming i also want to invite you to join uh my youtube membership you could click here to join youtube membership as just a way of supporting the channel uh if you're so inclined so um yeah so there is a um, 
yeah there's you know there's some some small perks for members you know yeah something like that um so if you want to join the membership i'm going to do a separate video to talk about the membership but i just want to let you know that look there's that option for some of you that say oh how, how can i support or appreciate you uh, this is just one of those things. I really appreciate the, those who are already members on the channel. I appreciate you. So I want to say thank you to the the, the fully members that I have. Uh, probably wouldn't pronounce this name well. I, this I just have for now. I just have five members, and these are the five of them. I'm, uh, I want to. I just want to give a shout out to them. So I thank you, uh, guys. I really really appreciate you guys. You know because you guys keep encouraging me to continue. Sometimes. Uh, it could be very challenging doing videos on YouTube, but I really appreciate you guys for doing this, uh, for joining the membership. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I do hope to continue to give you the value that you've always been getting on this channel. So more videos to come, more tutorials to come. And for those that have joined the Design with Cracker All Access membership for the components, thank you also. And I'm going to make it worthwhile. I know I have delayed, but I am going to make sure that I compensate you and I'm going to make you uh, find the worth in all this. Thank you very much. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.